Welcome to our lecture online. If you were having some trouble understanding what we just covered in the previous video, trying to understand how to deal with absolute value signs in linear inequalities, kind of like my wife, who, despite the fact that she has a degree in mathematics, sometimes has trouble with this kind of thing. She came up with a very clever way to remember how to solve these kinds of problems. So what she did was the following thing. She looked at this and go, if the absolute value of x is less than 5, then you can write negative 5 and then keep the inequality symbol in the same direction. It's less than x, which is then less than the positive 5. And so that's exactly what we have over here. However, on the other side, if the absolute value of x is greater than 5, we can write the same thing we have over here, but instead of having the inequality symbols pointing to the left, we're going to have them point to the right, and so we write negative 5 greater than x greater than positive 5. Now that sometimes helps to keep things straight. If you just don't remember and you're taking a test or you're in a panic and you wonder, how do I do this? You can always quickly think about, ha, huh, here the inequality symbol is to the left, so I'm going to do this. Here the inequality symbol is to the right, so I'm going to do this. Write the negative 5 and the positive 5, the negative 5 and the positive 5, and you're on your way. And then you can probably figure out the rest from there. But that at least, if you're not quite sure anymore, in the pinch of a test, do what my wife did. Write down those equations like that and go from there. 